Alright guys, so it's been a while since I made a video like this, but in this video, I want to go over a couple of the cookies that you really want to invest in right now in the current state of the game, especially if you guys are either new to the game or returning, or you just want to know the best cookies that are being used inside of Cookie Roy Kingdom right now. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of the absolutely must build and the ones that you guys need to invest in if you guys get these cookies right away, and then top five of the epic cookies right now that you can use in almost every single game mode. So let's just start out with the absolutely OP meta cookies that you really want to invest in if you guys get your hands on. Of course, that's going to be including Dark Cacao Cookies. So Dark Cacao Cookie, the Awakened form is going to be absolutely great. And you guys are able to get a free version of Dark Cacao if you guys are getting into the game you guys are able to choose a free ancient cookie out of the hollow berry pure vanilla and dark cacao and if you guys get dark cacao and you guys are able to go and awaken him then you're going to absolutely have a just a insane dps and tank for most of the game mode as of right now so without a doubt dark cacao is amazing uh, if you guys get your hands on him then make sure to go and build him and use him for your team of course you do need to kind of awaken him which is going to be a bit tough right now without the events but you know there's a lot of different ways of getting uh you know his soul prisons now so hopefully that is going to be the case for you guys next one is going to be without a doubt the counterpart to the dark account awaken and that's going to be mystic flower and you guys already know uh without these two right now the arena is going to be really really hard to actually play all right so mystic flower without a doubt one of the best healer actually the best healer inside of the game and can be used for almost every single game mode as of right now you know the healing is great the debuff is great and the fact that you know she is immune to all debuffs is actually kind of insane all right so you definitely want to go and get mystic flower if you guys can and just to let you guys know right now with the new events if you guys do pull 300 times then you are able to get this uh you know choice chest which is going to include either a dark account awakened version or mystic flower of course dark account awakened version you need to actually have dark account in order to use the chest all right it's going to give you 20 soul prisms all right uh so that's going to be something that you want to look into if you guys definitely have the option and then the next one is going to be win archer so win archer is our latest legendary cookie and if you guys are playing right now then you guys are able to get this cookie for free so definitely work towards it in about seven days you definitely are able to go and obtain this cookie for free with all the events that are going on and with all the extra gems that, that they're giving you guys you might be able to get an extra copy from the gacha as well so without a doubt one of the best cookies right now to use not only for something like the world exploration and the master mode and uh the beasties but also uh going to be really really good for the arena absolutely meta for the arena not going to be super super useful for the guild boss battle but still you know you guys can use him inside of something like the living abyss if you guys would like to do that uh and also the cookie alliance uh as one of the you know a dps for your teams when archer is going to be really really good uh you know you have some insane buffs uh for himself insane attack speed insane burst damage continuous damage going to be a upgraded version of crambule so just keep that in mind as well so without a doubt win archer is going to be absolutely amazing these three without a doubt if you guys get your hand on it then go and build them right away so now let's go into the top five epic cookies as of right now that you really want to go and invest in and starting off without a doubt is going to be twizzly gummy so twizzly gummy got an insane buff with the magic candy and you really want to at least get this up to plus one and if you guys can get to plus 10 20 30 that's just going to make it even better but her damage is absolutely insane right now and additional to that she is able to get herself as well as other electric cookies you know extra damage as well so without a doubt twizzy gummy is going to be amazing you're going to use mostly twizzy gummy inside of the world desperation beasties master mode cookie alliance even the guild boss battle right now and the only thing that she is a little lacking is in going to be during the arena so she is a little bit squishier she doesn't do as much damage as you think she is able to do especially because of the fact that she does kind of blow up inside of the arena if you are versing something like you know the win archer comps and things like that so she is going to be absolutely amazing though you guys know that she is going to be a meta or op inside of my pve tier list so that is going to be one cookie uh that you really want to invest in and then of course with her you want to have a 
partner with Twizy Gummy, and that is going to be no other than right over here, Black Lemonade. So Black Lemonade is actually really, really good, and she has gotten even better with Twizy Gummy's Magic Candy because she is able to go and buff up Twizzly, allowing her to deal even more damage uh, because of that, alright? So, if you guys look right over here, it says Black Lemonade Cookie plays her guitar, dealing damage to the enemy with the highest HP, inflicting zap and applying debuff that increases crit damage the enemy receives and decreases their defense. So, with that, you know, you're able to go and just absolutely shred the enemies with this debuff and allows, you know, uh, this electrifying raw spirit buff to the team which strengthens not only her attack but damaging the enemies as well as everyone around them right so this is going to just literally deal insane amount of damage with someone like twizzy gummy because she is able to just shoot out lasers she's able to hit multiple enemies afflict zap as well uh and you you know it's just going to be insane to combo those two and those are the reason why uh black lemonade and twizzy gummy are just absolutely op inside of most of the pve content of this game right now and uh if you guys build those two you're good to go for most of the content. All right, uh, so without a doubt, going to be absolutely amazing for you to build. And the next one is going to be, in my opinion, Rebel. So Rebel is a little bit on the weaker side of things when it comes to quote-unquote tanking. He is going to be an ambush frontline uh, cookie, but he does have a decoy, which is going to allow him to also just kind of tank for the team. Of course, there are going to be downsides where he does sometimes dash to the front, like how it was with Sonic and other cookies like that, and he does die off, which can be a, you know, kind of an upset if you guys are playing in the regular world exploration where all the cookies do actually need to survive. However, he did get a buff here with the wind, uh, you know, element, and he is also able to have that tailwind buff, which is going to increase the damage resist as well as attack speed with his regular attack. But the main thing that you have is going to be that all type damage vulnerability is going to be 60%. And additional to that, you do have a defense reduction as well, which is the reason why Rebel Cookie is absolutely amazing for the guild boss battles as well as, uh, you know, one shot comes uh, when it comes to play for something like the arena or even the Cookie Alliance, as well as allowing you to, you know, be used for a lot of different comms and a lot of different stages inside of the world exploration as well as beasties and even master mode so without a doubt rebel if you guys do get him make sure to build him because he is going to be amazing for 90 percent of the content right now and then next one is going to be cram so we talked about win archer but cram is actually really really good as well because of the fact that he is going to be one of the best damage dealer who is going to just do pure raw damage so if there are cookies or enemies inside of world exploration or any of the pve content that just needs to uh be killed by pure raw damage immune to debuffs and things like that cranberry is going to be amazing he's going to only buff himself which is going to allow him to just deal more damage and more damage and more damage and that's the reason why inside of most of the world exploration stages cranberry is going to be absolutely amazing for you guys to use and i don't think you're going to regret actually building him he's going to be used inside of even the guild boss battle right now and hopefully in the future maybe he'll come back to the arena as well. All right, and the last one that I want to talk about out of the five is going to be Financier. Financier is absolutely amazing as well in most of the content right now, including Cookie Alliance, World Exploration, Beasties, Master Mode, as well as the arena. The only thing that she is going to lack a little bit right now is going to be the Guild Boss Battle. You still can use her, but she is going to be not as great as the certain comps that are going on right now and the reason why is because of her magic candy she is an insane tank who is able to provide damage resist crit resist debuff immunity to one of your highest cookies you know heal the team as well as you know have some insane amount of damage reflection sometimes which is going to kill enemies inside of the arena so she is an absolute must build in my opinion uh, and honestly she is really really simple to use as well and if you guys do pair her up with someone like Cran Boulet, they're actually able to do some insane amount of damage together as well so those are going to be your five recommended cookies that you want to build right now and if you guys do combine all of them together you're actually able to make a pretty decent team of course the only thing that right now you will lack is going to be some decent healer 
and that's where the honorable mention is going to come into play once you guys are able to reach the pavilion and you're able to build that you definitely want to go and pull for someone like cream ferret cream ferret is going to be a special cookie so everybody is able to get her but you're just gonna have to go and actually hatch her from the pavilion and once you do she is absolutely gonna be amazing she is a great support who is able to not only heal your team especially one of your you know dps's but also able to provide some insane amount of offensive buff to your team like attack buff crit damage buff as well as debuff resist and healing debuff resist even more and just shields and things like that and she is incredibly hard to kill inside of the arena because once she jumps to one of your cookies she is basically invincible all right uh she's not able to take any damage and she's just going to heal and provide buffs to that cookie so she's absolutely amazing that's the reason why she is going to be part of that honorable mention because she needs to be pulled from the pavilion which is the only way to get her and she is a special cookie so she's not really an epic but she's absolutely going to be amazing so i really want to recommend her uh for every player if you guys do get her uh, from the pavilion and the pavilion is going to be right over here um once you guys do uh get to i believe cookie castle level five now uh then you are able to go and build this thing uh from the quest so make sure to do that as well all right guys so that's gonna wrap it up for this video of course there are a lot of different cookies that can be used and that are great however in this video i just want to make it really concise for you guys so that you guys know exactly which cookies are the best uh and absolutely recommended and why they're going to be really really good so i mentioned a total of nine different cookies and with just these nine different cookies you're able to almost complete most of the actual you know uh content of this game so hopefully this helps you guys out i will make a separate video on all the toppings and builds that you want to focus on because that is going to be a different topic but thanks for watching guys if you guys have any questions leave it down in the comments below if you guys haven't checked out the other videos that i have made then please do so as well thanks for watching